Hey, what's up guys? It's Elle here. I'm gonna do a little something different in this video today. You guys, this is my cat, Oreo. Say hi, Oreo. Hi. There's no way I could include all the songs I grew up singing with my family in this series. So today I'm going to give you snippets from a bunch of different songs. You see this book? My family used to sing a lot out of this book. This was kind of our Bible for music. This book is a really great source. If you're interested in having just a wide variety of songs, they give you lyrics and chords and they have it all in categories. And what I've sang for you guys so far was mostly classic folk songs written by well-known classic artists, songwriters, which I thought that you might know. And the difference today is that <laughs> you may not know any of these songs. There's also a lot of songs in here which you know because somebody made it famous. Really, it's a traditional folk song. For example, I got a song here, I got a little bookmark, Scarborough Fair. This song, is a very classic traditional folk song. However, people remember it because Simon and Garfunkel sang it. Peter, Paul, and Mary might have sang it too. But it's the people who make it famous. You think, oh, that's their song. No, it's a traditional folk song. Songwriter listed traditional English child ballad number two. <laughs> We used to sing that song, Scarborough Fair. I'm not gonna sing it for you today. But let's see, we, we also used to sing some of the gospel songs that are in this book. Let's see, I did not used to sing melody. We always used to have harmonies and I used to sing harmonies. So I don't know if I can remember this, but for example, this song is called Cool of the Day. Let's see if I can sing you a verse. My Lord, he said unto me, do you like my garden so fair? You may live in this garden if you keep the grasses green and I'll return in the cool of the day. That's just like one verse of this song. And there's a lot of great gospel songs which come from the Bible or variations of it. <laughs> Let's see if I can remember this. Brightest and best of the sons of the morning Dawn on our darkness and lend us thine aid Star in the east, the horizon adorning God, where our infant redeemer is laid. I think that's how it goes. <laughs> I haven't sung these songs in years. As you guys know, I love pop music. What's really cool for me as a songwriter, having this background with all these different styles, specifically a lot of really great folk writers and traditional folk songs, is that I am a storyteller. Even when I'm writing a pop song, I'm writing a story. It's kind of cool mixing influences like that. What have we got here? Oh, this is a fun one. There's a category in this book for funny songs. My mom got us into singing when we were all kids. She really liked kids to be kids and like music. So there were a few songs we didn't actually perform, but we would just sing at home. And this is one of them. Let's see, I may need my guitar for this one. This is called Waltzing with Bears. The original concept and chorus is by Dr. Seuss. I'm just gonna play you a verse and a chorus.
If you have a kid and you want to sing with them, that's a really fun song. Here's a Bob Dylan song, Blowing in the Wind. There's a bunch of Dylan songs in here. There's also a Bill Stain song here that I really like. It's called The Faith of Man. I'll relearn it one of these days. I just remember really liking it when I was a kid. It's got a catchy melody and it also has a really good message, which most of these songs do. Here's a really cute song. My family didn't used to sing it. We had a lot of friends whose families also sang music. One of my friends sang this with his family when he was a really little kid. It was a really cute recording. God bless the day I found you. I want to stay around you. And so I beg you, let it be me. Don't take this heaven from one. If you must cling to someone now and forever, let it be me. Each time we meet love, I find complete love without just me love. What would life be? circle of music. I think we also just learned a lot and we got a lot of influences from our friends we grew up with. Here's a pretty one that's uh, short enough. I'll give you a little, little taste of it. This is called Today. Today while the blossoms still cling to the vine I'll taste your strawberries I'll drink your sweet wine a million tomorrows will all pass away Ere I forget all the joy that we shared today that's just a really pretty little song. I remember singing that with my family. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of getting a vibe for what we used to sing when I was younger. My Carpenter family, not the Carpenters, but my family was Carpenter too, because it was pretty meaningful for me. And even though I kind of took it for granted back then, I really appreciate it now, especially being a songwriter. I would rather write about substance, even if I like mainstream pop music. And I don't only write pop songs, as you guys know. Really though, um, thank you for watching my videos. It means a lot to me. Hope you can forgive all the frogs in my throat. <laughs> And all the screw-ups as I sing these songs, I hardly remember. I'm petting my cat. That's why I'm moving so much. I'll stop moving. <laughs> Bye.